What some members of the cheerleading squad here at Saginaw High School mixed up, put in a cup, and served to their fellow teammates is an outrage by some parents we spoke to. The concern is the punishment doesn't fit the crime. These blurry pictures show a Saginaw High School cheering squad seemingly band together. You have to be able to trust that person that they're going to catch you. Would you be able to trust somebody if they did that to you? Absolutely not. What administrators at Saginaw High School just learned is that their cheer squad may not have been as close as they thought. What we found was that there were a group of girls that had urinated in a cup and enticed others to drink it. A mixture of soda and urine. Some members of the squad put in a cup and gave to their fellow teammates. I took it very seriously, and the girls were disciplined. And, and due to privacy reasons, I can't comment on the specifics. One parent whose daughter cheers for a neighboring high school says she's heard what that punishment was and believes it's too lenient. To tell them they can't cheer this year, but they can try out for next year, is that punishment? In my opinion, it's not. We don't want to take it lightly and consider their concerns in a light manner. However, our administrators were well within the student code of conduct with the discipline that they did decide upon. Whether the discipline followed the student code of conduct or not, the whole situation leaves some parents with a bad taste in their mouth. I think they shouldn't have been allowed to be back on the team. We're told those cheerleaders responsible will be able to be on the cheering squad next year.